Yo, yo, what's up? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, no computer this time. No computer. No computer. Yeah. We still gonna do the thing, though. We still gonna do the weekly talks and shit. We still gonna do that. This one, though. This is just one of them, uh... I don't even know what to call that shit. Uh, unnoticed or something. I don't know, but you, you get what I'm saying. It's not part of the plan. Put it like that. Yeah, I recently deleted my Instagram page uh, not too long ago. Um, yeah, I was going to talk about Instagram. Yeah. I had it for, I had it for a year and some change. A year and some change. That shit went by fast, too. Yeah, I first had it February of 2020. I decided to get out like, fuck it, I get it. So I had got it or whatever, so. Um, been on there a while. I start following different people, different celebrities. And, uh, yeah, I just got up. Uh, different people I knew and shit like that, and uh, all that good stuff. So, who Trey Lance? Uh, I don't know, man. I just got. It's, it got to the point where every time I got on there, that shit got draining. It felt like it wasn't. It was just draining me, bro. Like I don't know. It was some good shit on there, man. I'm not. I'm not finna totally. Uh, just you know, like it's totally bad. I mean, it's just good, some funny shit on there. I mainly was on there because of the females, you know. But uh. You know, just some small shit. I ain't really took it take it serious, but I started to get on there. Like I think I was getting addicted to it, and addicted to the to the draining of Instagram, bro. <laughs> like it's weird, nigga. Like I just kept getting, it just was draining. It's like uh, anxiety or a little bit of everything. It was mostly like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just, I don't know, man. It felt like. It was fucking not boring. It was like the same shit every day. Like nothing was, everybody doing the same shit. And then it, man, it, where do I start? <laughs> where the fuck do I start? It was actually fun when I first got it, when I ain't even had no fucking followers. I'm serious. I ain't saying I had a whole bunch of followers or nothing like that, and I was following a bunch of people. It just, I don't know, it just felt, I guess at the time, I don't know, but there's a whole lot of shit going on on that whole fool. I'm going to just call that shit Instacap. And I ain't saying like, I ain't saying cap like niggas ain't really got no money and shit like that. Cap don't only mean you flogging like you got money on the ground. It's folks that really got money on the ground. That's not what I'm saying. Cap like, okay, for instance, it be females on there, right? These motherfuckers, they are like a nigga, right? And like the nigga they like, they'll shoot they shot or whatever, right? But the female act like she don't be knowing the nigga. She like the nigga, but she afraid of what her peers might say. Ugh, you like that nigga? Ugh, you man. So she fall back. I be like, why the fuck would you? You grown as hell, fool. If you like a nigga, like the nigga. Talk to the nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Like, be whole too motherfucking old to be. Ugh. These hoes too motherfucking, y'all too motherfucking old to be moving like that. 
if you like a nigga, like the nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Talk to the nigga. Y'all be, you know, you already four, five states away. What the fuck you expect them to do? You got to start somewhere. You got to start in the DM, the comment section. Is, you got to start somewhere. What you think the nigga just going to magically fly to you and go to your fucking house? You don't even know your address or nothing. You talking about going on dates and shit. The nigga don't even know you. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, what the fuck you gonna do? Like, you gotta start somewhere. Give him the number on the low or <clears throat> the comment section or what? Y'all hoes too grown for that shit. Y'all too old to be worrying about what another motherfucking group gonna say because you like a nigga and they don't. Like, they approve of a nigga. They don't approve of the nigga and you do. But since they don't approve, you gonna fall back. But you like the nigga. Like the nigga. Talk to the nigga. Follow the nigga. Like a post or something. Y'all hoes too old for that shit. We ain't in middle school no more. Do them, do them motherfuckers pay your bills? No. Do they feed you? No. So why the fuck you worrying about what the fuck they saying about the nigga? That what I don't understand. I don't understand that shit. I seen it all the time on that hoes be liking niggas. But they act like they don't like the nigga. They then turn around and put posts of, I'm gonna cuddle. You know, they got pictures of couples cuddling, holding hands, and fucking upside down. You ain't gonna get that if you let motherfuckers choose your boyfriend for you. You know motherfucker don't want you happy. Don't you know that by now? You sitting there, girl, you like him, girl, you man. Yeah, bitch, I like him. That's what you need to say. Instead of you, oh, I don't know what I am. I'm just going to keep teasing him and I'm just going to make it chase me. And Niggas ain't finna chase your dirt ass. <laughs> Niggas ain't... <coughs> Niggas ain't finna chase your ass. How the fuck a nigga gonna chase you on the internet? This nigga in Virginia, you in California. It's only so much the nigga can do. But let it be a celebrity. You all on a nigga uh, post. This nigga have yet to respond to your phone call. You feel me? Y'all hoes is backwards on that social media. I don't know what the fuck y'all want. I see it all the time. The, the niggas, a, a girl comment be flooded with niggas. She don't reply to not one of them motherfuckers. Let Lil Killer with 10 million followers post some. She all on this nigga comment section. And he don't reply to none of y'all Instagram hoes. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like a fucking status hierarchy on that motherfucker. You feel me? Like the regular niggas with a hundred followers comment on the on the bitch. She got a hundred and fifty followers. I mean a hundred and fifty thousand followers. She comment on the rapper nigga with ten million. He don't even reply to none of y'all hoes. So like ain't nobody winning in that case. She, the niggas want her and the, and, the, and the hoes want the nigga. It's just a whole bunch of cap. A whole bunch of cap. Yeah, the female, they too, too old for that shit. If you like a nigga, like the nigga. Talk to the nigga. DM the nigga. Exchange numbers. If you like, I mean, you too, y'all too grown for that shit, bro. Too grown for that shit. Too old for that shit, man. Too old for that. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. And then turn around talking about what you want. You want a man that's this, want a man that's that. But you too scared to get the man. You know niggas gonna shoot they shot. They don't give a fuck what a nigga say. Yes, y'all hoes are scared. Y'all scared of what your friends gonna say. Y'all need to cut that shit out. 
I, I thought that shit stopped in middle school. That's why y'all ain't got no solid nigga. Y'all let the fucking, the cult choose for y'all. As long as y'all keep that damn behavior, as long as y'all keep that, uh, that damn behavior, you ain't gonna never have no shit that you want. You ain't gonna never have the, the post of the couple laying in bed, the man head on your chest, and he fucking your froggy style, and y'all walking in the park reading the Bible. You ain't gonna never have that shit. Cause you let other motherfuckers choose for you. Girl, I'm like, ugh, they just be like, I'm ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be miserable just like them motherfuckers. They don't want you to have shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Why you worrying about what the fuck they got to say? They ain't got shit. Fuck, they want you to have shit. Think about it. And you niggas. You fucking lame ass, sneaky ass niggas. Y'all the worst on there. Man, niggas be, bro. Niggas will lurk on your page, bro. Right? They will lurk on your shit every day. And, and bite your shit. And then turn around and use they shit. And use it like they came up with, with that shit. And then act like they don't know what's going on. Damn, at least give a nigga a like. Follow a nigga or something. Repost or something. Y'all niggas lame as hell. I see that a lot. I put on a fucking outfit, right? And then I turn around... A motherfucker I follow. He ain't got the same outfit on, but he got the same in the center family. You be like, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, damn, nigga, you can't go to a nigga pay at least like a post. How is it gonna hurt you to like a post? At least like a nigga. Po if you gonna take a nigga shit, at least give a nigga a, a, a like, nigga. If you you know what I'm saying, like you you do you do so much as to wear the same type of clothes a nigga got on, but you can't even like a post. You can't even comment on a nigga shit. You can you can't even follow a nigga. You don't do shit but take. You watch a nigga. You watch my shit every time y'all watch my shit. You can't even like a nigga shit. And then turn around and had a nerd to try to critique a nigga. Boy, if you don't go to the nearest hell, as they say, y'all niggas lying. That's why y'all niggas miserable, bro. Y'all niggas, y'all, y'all some hoe ass niggas on there, bro. That social media turn, y'all some hoe ass niggas, bro. It ain't about the likes, bro. It ain't about the follows. It's about the principle. Y'all too. Prideful and hating ass niggas to show niggas love, bro. Even if you don't like a nigga, show a nigga love. I mean, like if you if you feel like a nigga doing something you like that particular shit. Say if the nigga did a speech, you don't really care for the nigga, but the speech was real. Like the nigga shit, repost the nigga shit. Y'all sit in the back. <laughs> And then turn around and take the nigga, use one of his topics from the speech and use it as your own. Y'all some lame ass niggas on there, bro. Y'all some straight hoes, bro. Let me sit up. Y'all some hoes, bro. Y'all some y'all too grown. Y'all niggas been y'all forties and fifties doing this shit, fool. Hell, it shit twenties, thirties. That's grown enough. I see that shit a lot, like, nigga, y'all can't, y'all too fucking girlish to even like, show love, bro. This, the, this is the thing. You be knowing the nigga. You know of the nigga. You watch the nigga shit. Every post, every video, faithfully, but can't even drop a like. 
the principle is if you like something, show some love, particularly to, to, to us niggas. But y'all scream Black Lives Matter. No, certain Black Lives Matter. If you got a blue check, that matter. That's what matter. Y'all some motherfucking hypocrites on that hoe talking about Black Lives Matter. No, certain Black Lives Matter. Certain Black Lives Matter on Instagram or whatever. Y'all straight hoe ass niggas for that for doing that shit, yo. I had bought some uh, some clothes from this nigga, right? Black nigga. He sell shirts and hats and shit. To me, that's a black business. To me. He ain't got to have no motherfucking building. No motherfucking none of that. That's a black business to me. He, he doing his thing. Uh, I heard a motherfucker say, it ain't no black bin. It's just a nigga who sells shit out of it. How the fuck you know about all that shit, bruh? The nigga knew the clothes I got on and the nigga I bought it from. I bet he ain't even go to, to cop shit from dude. But you sat and watched my shit and watched his shit. You lurked on his page to see who it was and then went to my page and then give no light he ain't support, bruh. He ain't did shit but lurk and then talk shit. Y'all niggas some fucking coons and belong in the boule. The boule need to go to you niggas right now because y'all niggas some fucking coons, bro. Y'all niggas ain't shit on, 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 on line, bro. Y'all some capping ass, whole ass niggas, bro. I bet you, ain't, you ain't, niggas ain't buy dude clothes, bro. He ain't even show support, nothing. He ain't even comment, hey, I like your shit. What I'm saying is, if you gonna lurk on a nigga page all the time, show some love. If you don't like the nigga, don't go on the nigga page. But if you keep going on the nigga page, watching the nigga videos all the time, at least show some support. This nigga's on the tube. I don't really care for. I see a video they did that I like. I'ma like the motherfucker and I'ma comment. I may not like the person, but I'ma comment. Hey, dope video, bro. I like the vid. Keep it up. Yada yada. Thumbs up. Whatever. I might throw a motherfucker a cash app or something. It's the principle, bro. Y'all niggas too motherfucking prideful, bro. And it be niggas. Y'all, this you niggas. Y'all worse than the hoes. Y'all niggas worse than the hoes, bro. Y'all niggas ain't shit on that. Y'all let the internet... Y'all niggas... <laughs> man. Man, man, man. I had to leave that shit alone, bro. And then... <laughs> Instagram and turned y'all niggas into... Mahat Gandhi, nigga. Y'all niggas think y'all MLK on that motherfucker. A motherfucking celebrity be like, if you don't pay your rent, you get evicted. And then they put at the caption at the bottom, uh, 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 if you know, you know, hashtag, period, hashtag, such and such, hashtag. And then the comment section be, yes, yes, this the one, this the one, yes, yes, this the one, this the one, yes. Say it again for the ones in the back. Say it again. A hundred, a hundred. Y'all some motherfucking man worshiping bitches, bro. Who didn't know if you don't pay your rent, you gonna get evicted, bro? Who? Who? <laughs> who the fuck ain't know that? Motherfuckers say anything and y'all be dick riding so motherfucking hard, fool. Y'all be like. If you don't brush your teeth, your breath stink. Yes, yes. This is it, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, yes. Y'all pathetic on that motherfucker, bruh. Y'all pathetic on that whole fool. Pathetic fool. But let a nigga <laughs> with 50 followers said, 
Hello, I'm 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 I knew something was wrong with it because they wouldn't let you delete the shit right away. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to delete it now. They said, oh, you got to go to the website and do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Send a request. Send a request. Do that. Send a request. Send a request. I don't want to send a request. I can't even do it on the app. And, and, and they ain't talking about temporarily. Just so no, bitch. I want to delete it now. <clears throat> I want to delete it now. Motherfucker. The fuck you gonna take me around loops? I want that shit gone now, nigga. I'm like, these motherfuckers cap. Now, I did like the food posters that y'all put up. I did like that. Yeah. I like them ass posters. Turn around, shaking that out. I like that. That's the only, re that's the only reason I stayed on that motherfucker. Hell yeah. Other than that, man, that nigga, that nigga's lame. That's why I called it shit whack. Because it's shit whack. It was, I knew it was whack before I even made a page, nigga. I'm like, let me just check this shit out, man. Let me, let me, let me, let me just check it out, man. Yeah, I had more fun before that shit, so... Let me get back to that shit, cause it's a hell yeah, it's addictive. That's why I left it alone. The same capping ass shit, and I'ma say it again: capping ain't always money wise, bro. Capping ain't always money. Like a nigga say, you ain't got no money, and you fly, you flodging on the thing. That that ain't always cap. Cap can be what I just said. You lurking on the nigga page. And you bite a nigga shit and don't show a nigga love. That's capping too. Hoes, the, the if, if you like a nigga and you act like you don't know the nigga, that's capping too. You afraid of what your peers might say, that's capping. And y'all hoes be 37, <laughs> 38 years old and you worrying about what the outside gonna say. But you like this nigga. Capping. How the fuck I supposed to be with you and you worried about them? How we going to, let's just say we did get together. How the fuck you expected to work when you constantly worried about the outside world? You constantly on lookout to see what they going to say. How you expect to keep a nigga like that, bro? Do that even make sense? The relationship ain't gonna last because you constantly worry about what another motherfucker gonna say. You feel me? <clears throat> you feel me? Like, come on, bro. Can't have no solid relationship. You want this, you want that, you want that and want this, but you worried about another motherfucker. Yeah, that social media fucking y'all up, bro. Captain, cap, captain, cap, cap, and cap. All y'all do is cap on that motherfucker. Oh yeah, I, I ain't finished it. Yeah, to talk about the uh, what's the shit? Yeah, the uh, Martin Luther King's now. Oh, last thing, bro. This the this the icing on the cake. The indirects, y'all are superior to indirects. Y'all motherfuckers be sending shots out the ass, and then when a nigga call you out on it, you act like you don't know what the motherfucker talking about, and then y'all always say this shit. If the shoe fits, wear it. Bitch, no. If you a coward, wear it. You know who you talking about. Don't act like you talking about a group of people. You talking about that one nigga or that one female. You need to stop that shit. Tell it to that person. Say it to them. Don't wait. 
don't 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 put it as a post and then put period at the end of the post. You ain't no motherfucking scholar. I'm about to be acting like since they put a they say a quote that it's the gospel. Just cause you say it don't mean it's true. And just cause your comment section full of yes, yes, say it in the back don't mean it's true. You got the game fucked up. Everybody ain't in that cult. Another thing, everybody's supposed to abide by that fucking cult that y'all in. Everybody ain't no ass kiss on that hoe fool. Y'all a bunch of ass kisses on that hoe. Yeah, and the the, big, the, the celebrity too. Sending indirects all the time. Then you comment, they don't say shit. I'm like, man, if you don't go sit your bitch ass down somewhere, nigga. Indirects like a motherfucker. And you know what they be talking about. And they know what they be talking about. Be sending shots. Y'all need to stop this shit, bro. Y'all too grown. You too grown, too old to be throwing uh, sub subliminals and shit. Need to grow the fuck up. And then another thing, y'all don't even be talking about shit on that hoe who. Niggas don't even be talking about shit on there. They talking about the same damn shit. Relationships, sex, and motherfucking uh, relationship, sex. That's it. Relationship and sex. And what's funny, the motherfuckers who talk about this shit all the time, relationships fucked up. Or they ain't in a relationship. How the fuck y'all talk about something so long and it's fucked up for y'all? I don't understand that shit. I see it all, men and women. How you talk about, that's all they talk about, relationship talk, relationship, sex talk. Always capping about what your pussy gonna do and they, they do like passive cap. The niggas be wanting to say, yeah, girl, this nigga can put you to sleep, but they be like, well it, well, it depends on the nigga. And same with the female. It depends on the female. All y'all lying. All y'all lying. Just say y'all want to fuck. Quit beating around the bush. All y'all lying to each other. Every time a nigga say something about a female, it's always that one bitch that say not all females. We know it ain't all females. Imagine seeing this pattern I just said a hundred thousand times a day. You got the whole ass niggas lurking and biting. The, fee the, the coward ass hoes on there. Who scared to say they like a nigga. While the nigga they like. Trying to talk to him. <laughs> you got the coward ass females. You got the whole ass lurking niggas. You got the capping ass niggas. And you got the. Uh, uh, motor fake ass motivational speaker. Imagine seeing that shit. Every motherfucking day. I can't take it no more. Bro. I couldn't take it no more. I couldn't take it, bro. I literally will see a motherfucker, a nigga on a lower status on social media be posting some shit and a celebrity nigga will take they shit and then put it as they shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying the post belong to you. That's not what I'm saying. You can copy anybody's shit. It ain't copyright infringement. Like, if I see, I, 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 I have reposted something. That I like. That's not the point. They take the shit. They don't even give credit to the nigga they took it from. Took this exact post from. They are here a speech. They are here a little video from a nigga on YouTube. And then. Use the same little talking points they use in they, in they shit. And then act like they came up with it. 
Y'all niggas ain't shit on that hoe, fool. Niggas ain't shit, fool. That's why most of y'all miserable on that hoe and y'all gonna stay miserable because y'all, y'all, y'all too motherfucking egotistical, bro. It's ego. It ego, pride. Y'all be hating on the low, bro. It's a lot of hating, jealousy, and cowardism on that. If you like a nigga, if you fuck with a nigga, fuck with a nigga. If you like niggas' content, like the content, bruh. Press the fucking like button. What you afraid the, the whole group gonna see you like this nigga shit and then they gonna give you a spanking nigga? What you afraid of, nigga? <clears throat> what you afraid of? What you afraid of? Y'all niggas grown with kids, bro. Y'all got kids, fool, and y'all still acting like y'all in middle school. You feel me? Like, come on, my nigga. Yeah, motherfucker, plenty niggas did it to me. I mean, that's what I'm here for. I mean, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's the principle that, that tripped me out. Like, damn, these niggas don't even uh, like a nigga shit. But be lurking all damn day on a nigga page. Same with the hoes. Motherfucker know every post you put out. Niggas know every video you put up. And don't even don't even press a like button, G. You can't like a you can't even press a like button, bro. It's free. You can't follow a nigga. I know y'all ain't gonna follow me. Y'all too motherfucking scary. They still caught up in high school. Niggas, niggas really ain't grow up, bro. Niggas really ain't grow up. They still stuck in high school, bro. You know how you get you got the uh popular kids, and then the popular kid, then then you got the the uh the lame nigga. Like, and then you got that one pop. It's like love don't cost the thing. No, not like little don't cost the thing. That's different. You know how you got the popular kids, right? And it's that one popular kid that like some of the lame nigga did. He like something he did, but he too fucking coward to tell him because he's scared of what the group might say. That's how y'all is on Instagram, bro. Y'all still got the damn click and you don't show other niggas love because you scared of what that fucking your whole little world to say. But, but turn around and say Black Lives Matter. Y'all need y'all ass whooped. For real. Y'all niggas lame as fuck, bruh. Y'all niggas is lame as fuck on there. I wish y'all look. Cause I couldn't take it. <laughs> couldn't take it, bruh. I'm not no fake ass nigga. I'm not a capping nigga. And that, that, that's all I seen on that shit, bro. Was cap, niggas be capping, cap, cap, cap. Motherfucker, motherfucker, only respond to niggas who got blue check marks on their comment section. What kind of shit is that? If a nigga ask you a question, you don't answer the question, but let a nigga with a blue check ask you a question, you answer it, and y'all niggas got each other number. Y'all already know each other outside of this hoe. But you want to act like you want you want to feel special because you know this nigga with the check mark. <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't. Y'all some lame ass, whack ass niggas, bro. Y'all act like females, bro, on that hoe, fool. It be a nigga that be asking some real ass shit, but since he ain't got no blue check, you don't even comment. But let a motherfucker have a blue check. You asked me, oh shit. <laughs> What's the name said something? What's the name said something? Yeah, man, you know what I'm saying, man. You know how it is, man. You know how it is. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas so motherfucking lame, bro. Y'all so fucking lame. Y'all so fucking lame, bro. Lame as fuck. 
And what's the last thing I, I damn, I just, I just thought about it. Fuck. Damn. Ah! Damn, I forgot that mother. It was one more point. Uh. Shit. Uh. Damn it, I bet you when I close this video, that's them all gonna pop up. Damn! Oh, shit. I just had it, man. Golly. Let me keep talking about something. Maybe it'll pop up. Yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas. Y'all too old for that shit, man. Y'all niggas too old for that shit, bro. Y'all too old, bro. For real. Y'all niggas, y'all niggas too old, man. Y'all are too old for that shit, bro. Y'all niggas got kids and grandkids acting like little girls on that motherfucker, bro. The the point the, the point is, the moral of the story is. The moral of the story is. Support. Support. Show some love. I ain't saying like every fucking video. But if you see yourself constantly going on a nigga page or a female page consistently and you like they shit, press the fucking button. <laughs> Push the button, nigga. What is wrong with the like button, bruh? I sound like T.I. Push the motherfucking button, cook. Y'all don't even press, y'all don't even like a nigga's shit. Man, my dancing videos had 1,200, 1,500, 2,000. Oh, I ain't had 2,000. <laughs> yeah, 1,200, you know, 1,200 views with three likes. It ain't a, it, 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 you're not, you're not getting me. It's not necessarily the likes, but you clicked on it. But since you don't like a nigga, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna show no love, but you constantly watching the nigga shit. That's what I'm talking about. If you see yourself on my shit all the time, you like something. You like something, nigga. Like, press the like button, bro. What the fuck? Y'all some haters. You can never call me a hater. Y'all the haters. Y'all see the thing. Y'all know how to hide y'all hatred. Y'all know how to hide. It's, it's, it's hatred and it's cowardism. That's what it is. Some of y'all too coward to press the like button because you're afraid of what the consequences might be from your little crew. And some of y'all hate us. Y'all niggas be aspired by a nigga and hate on the nigga at the same time. That's worse than slavery. At least the motherfuckers, the blacks stuck together during slavery. We was against the white folks. Now... Niggas against each other. You don't even want to press a fucking like button. Hey, Tubman showed the way. She showed motherfuckers, hey, here the way to freedom. She showed folks, here the way to freedom. Y'all can't even give a nigga a like. And then you bite a nigga's shit. The audacity. You buy the nigga shit. He could have caught that. The nigga said, fuck that shit. You know what I mean? You don't even like a nigga shit, fool. Boy, y'all pathetic on that whole fool. That, that shit turned y'all into some... uh. Uh, 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 
That Instagram turned you niggas into some uh uh what you call them females? Damn, I can't think of shit right now. Instagram turned y'all into some high priced females, man. Y'all niggas some high priced hoes, bro. And shout out to the ones that did show love and the ones that do show love, the ones that was real. It's a couple of them niggas on there that was real. And females. It's a couple of them on there that was solid. I'm going to say it one more time because I know y'all like to cover y'all ass and say a nigga hating and shit. That's, that's y'all go-to word. When you feel salty, you say hating. You know I'm right. You know y'all niggas do, especially y'all celebrities. Y'all know y'all do this. It really, most of the time, it be them celebrities. Really, that's really who I'm talking about. Them damn celebrities. Be taking them. That's that's like them damn musicians. They'll take a local nigga shit and then make a hit out of the local nigga shit without even giving a nigga credit. That's the same shit. Yeah. And some some regular niggas too. They 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 got that behavior too. Whole ass niggas. But majority I'm talking about is the celebrities. They they some whole ass niggas. Yeah. And then gonna oh I think that's what it is. <laughs> that's what I forgot about. Nigga be fucking Like how the fuck you gonna teach me some shit that I taught you? I said the same shit. <clears throat> I said the same shit about energy. I ain't even know it was called energy. Y'all gave it a name. And they gonna try to turn around and tell me how to do it when I'm the one who lived the shit. I actually live them quotes you be saying. Ain't gonna turn around and try to preach to me. Not saying I know it all now. I'm just saying. Don't try to flip it on me, motherfucker. I'm the one taught your ass. Indirectly. You learn from me. How the fuck you gonna come around and act like you trying to tell me something? And then one last thing. Can y'all just say, instead of saying these riddles and shit, just say cross over to the dark side. I respect y'all if y'all just say that shit. Y'all be beating around the bush with this dream and work hard and yada, yada, yada. And when the world lists of the finer things of one grass of this, when a dream is shut the fuck up and just say, join the dark side. Just say, sell your soul. I am so sick of y'all in these riddles, bro. You joined the dark side, you sold your soul, you part of that beast system. Say that shit. It's 2021, my nigga. Say it. Say it. When y'all get these little cold words, the members, the, the family, the clique, just say the dark side, man. All these little fancy words. Just say cross over. What you got to do to be one of us? You got to come over here, man. You got to cross over. I will respect you a whole lot more if you just say that shit. But all this riddle shit got to go. Y'all too old for that. Leave, just say it. Since y'all so motherfucking real, say it. Say it. I say my shit. Hey, I'm all about the Lord. Lord, Lord, God, God. Y'all too motherfucking coward to say who y'all worship. Y'all say God, but throw up the devil horns. And y'all got kids with kids. Y'all whole grandparents and you still have beating, beating around the bush about who you worship. Say who you worship. Confess it. Say it. That's your Lord, right? Say it. Say it. What you hiding?
riding for? Say it. You know I ain't how you know I tell the Lord, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Elohim, Alpha and Omega. Easy. Y'all can't even say it with your mouth. You worship the devil. Say it. What are you scared of? All y'all worship him? What the fuck you scared? Who gonna hurt you? Ain't nobody gonna hurt you. How come people who worship the devil, the only ones that hide they shit? If I was the devil, I'd be mad in the motherfucker. Why you ain't claiming me? These motherfuckers do not claim this nigga. But say God all damn long, all damn day. Claim the devil, bitch. Claim him. He's your Lord and Savior. Claim the nigga. He gave you the wealth. He gave you the riches. Claim him. Claim him. Don't just wear a fucking shirt with the Baphomet on it. Don't wear a hat with the eye on it. And then when a nigga asks you who you serve, you say God. No, bitch. Say Satan. Y'all the only group that do that shit. Everybody else say Buddha. Uh, 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 Virgin Mary. The Catholics say Virgin Mary. We say the Lord. Y'all the only ones that don't say who you worship, but put them on a shirt and a fucking hat with hand gestures and then lie and say God. And you expect me to kiss your ass and worship you and you don't even say who you worship? Bye.